I was just on the back foot. Sucks. Rainer Mayor, 100 gold. Let's go for the 100 gold. There's a lot of losses today, guys, but these are losses that shouldn't be happening. They really shouldn't be happening. They're, they're flukes. They're big fat flukes. Let's go for the gold. No, I don't think Insura is better in hindsight. I think I think that the everything that I did was just fine. I think the uh, the deck was fine. It was the event, really. It was just the event. If I didn't take that event, I would be much healthier. I could do the elite. I would I would have been fine. It would have been a totally different run. I could probably go back to that whole seat again, and I would win just by skipping that event alone. Everything was fine. It's just the event. Um. Uh, I guess we can take an early rebound. Don't like this run so far. We get Pathiosis early. We get Core Surge. I like Core... We got Seek. Ah, there's a lot of options. Yeah, I can play some uh, Withers Legend a little bit later. I usually do a few hours to stay this part first. I, I wasn't going to mitigate any damage because of Ectoplasm. Ectoplasm was not going to change my plays at all. I played the exact amount of block I needed to play each time. Ectoplasm doesn't change my draws, it doesn't change what happens, right? Ectoplasm was worse, strictly, because I, I want to keep my gold and go to the shop. The problem was the event, losing life, because then I had to change a different path, and I was just on the back foot, right? Ectoplasm doesn't change anything at all. In fact, it's just worse. It's a worse pick. Um, chill, core surge, seek. Yeah, don't read books, kids. Don't read books. So, seek... We saw it opens up a lot of possibilities to get your strong powers out. Chill gives me some good block. And Act 1. Core Surge is very interesting. I actually like Core Surge, but... I'll do Seek. I don't really like Bind Seek, but it's so strong as an effect. Oh my god. Let's skip. Uh, I don't know if I have what it takes to kill this elite coming up. How you doing, Shiviko? Apotheosis can make you greedy, yes. Runic was straight better, exactly. If Runic was not gonna... Ectoplasm was not gonna change anything. It was... It was just the event, guys. It sucks. It happens. It's all good. I'm not, like, taking this too seriously. I'm taking this seriously. I'm trying to win, but I'm not, like... I'm not beating myself up over it. I think the Doom and Gloom helps me with the Elite. That gives me the Dark Orb for Gremlin Knob, for Laga, Laga Vulin. I'm happy with it. I mean, I'm, now I'm a little low on defense. But uh, we'll make it work. I'd rather do Doom and Gloom. Ah, uh, it's okay. How fast you're playing? Yeah, the Corpus, how fast I was playing. On, well, I'm playing fast, yes, but I should have been more thoughtful about taking that event. I think playing fast. My, my turns seem very straightforward. Leap is fantastic. Uh, we gotta mitigate, so if this is gonna be triple century, then chill is probably the best thing to upgrade. I think Passant doesn't feel like a very good upgrade. I think Seek could be okay. I can get things out. But I'd rather make like Dooming Zap cheap. Dual Cash cheap. Dual Cash is probably better to make cheap because I can get Dooming Gloom played. Like I can get the Dark Evoked easier against the Gremlin Knob. Okay, let's do Zap. Let's hope that it's not... This is actually fine. Let's get this out. Let's get the Dooming Gloom going. I want to rebound the Leap, but I can't. Time to wake it up, man. Wakey, wakey. Uh, I'm ruining my win rate with these these runs. This is bad, man. RP win rate. Especially that one... I played way too fast against that... What's the guy? That little scary guy? The transient? That was a free win. That one hurt the most. All right, so dual cast would be incredible here. Just need dual cast. GG.
You know what's funny? It's been a long time since, since I've seen a single Dark Orb. I mean, I'm actually extremely happy to have the Dark Orb in my life. I think Hyper Beam is okay. It's going to be good for split on the on the boss. I don't like that it gets rid of focus, but I think, you know, I think Hyper Beam is fine, actually. I'm taking it. I might start digging. Well, do I have anything? I think upgrades are super important. Yeah, I think Chill's a good upgrade. I like Seek as an upgrade as well, right? Because Seek is also... We're going for another elite. We got Gyria. This is not really... So now we have the option to dig and to lift. These are not really what you want to be seeing, honestly. You don't want to be seeing this. Hologram Recursion. Recursion is good with the Dark Orb. I think Hologram can bring back Hyper Beam. Beam cells go with Hyper Beam as well. I'll do Hologram. Oh man, I really don't like these options to dig and lift. I like Hyper Beam better. These are some bad relics, man. We can do a second elite, no problem though. Do we have lethal? Unfortunately, I don't have lethal. If I do zap hologram dual cast, I can do energy body get lethal. I think zap hologram dual cast, right? Uh, there's no point in like taking all that damage. It sucks. Sucks. Recursion now. Uh, I guess we take the recursion. That's fine. That's fine. This guy. So the question is, do we do hyper beam, or do we do zap and doom and gloom? Get the dark scaling a little bit, and then we um let the dark scale a little bit, and then do hyper beam later. Because what we could do is we could do rebounds hyper beam, and what that does is doing 40 damage, and then next turn is another 32. It's 70. Sorry, 40. 72 damage. That's 72 damage in two turns. And then maybe I do. I could do steroid pot actually. Let's do it. One damage off? Really? Really? Are you shitting me? Oh my god. One damage off is the name of the game. We got Unceasing Top. That changes everything. That changes everything, guys. Now, Recursion Upgrade is fantastic. In fact, I'll take another Recursion, because Double Recursion is going to just draw. I think this changes everything. Consume is interesting. It's like, no, nah, I think we're going for the Unceasing Top players here. This changes everything. Not that much, but it changes a little bit. Changes a little bit. I love Fun Season Tap. Got lethal. Okay, Fun Season Tap takes a little bit to ramp up, but once we get it going, it feels great. All for one on season top. I guess it's going to be a nice thing. So now we're going completely wild with this deck. Just said goodbye to defensive cards. A lot of offense. I'm probably going to get my ass kicked. Guys, I'm telling you, this is not how you should draft a deck at all. But you know what? Who cares? We shouldn't draft a deck like this. we got to upgrade the recursions, though. I'll go for it. Mm, I suppose we do seek. Oh, I... I guess we could do a hyper beam rebounds, right? So this is what we do. 
I kind of want to get the Dark Orb scaling a little bit. Like, I, I think the Dark Orb scaling is actually kind of nice. As opposed to doing Hyper Beam right away. I could do Rebound, Hyper Beam, and then do Hyper Beam again. And then maybe with the Fire Pot, I'm getting a good split. But I like the Dark Scaling. I'm going to stick with that. Gabe in the Steam Engine. Welcome, man. Yeah. No, because they blue screened. I know, I, I exported something else. Uh, I suppose we can hologram Doom and Gloom again, get double darkness. I mean, we gotta be careful because he's about to attack. We have recursion here. Curse is doing 18. It's a really bad split. <laughs> so let's see the damage, right? This is 10 plus 18, 28 plus 6, 34 plus 3, 37 plus 15, 52. Eh. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is dual cast for the win. He's going to split at 32, right? So that splits him. That's not good. Dual cast is going to be some good stuff here. If we can get it, of course. Recursion's fine. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of different outs here. We have double recursion and we have dual cast. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. I think this deck is going to be good once we get it rolling. Buffer, core surge, machine learning. You got to go. Hey, native blazing. Take care. Have a good one. Sometimes, Gaben, it depends. It, it, slime could be hard because it's like the damage you have to worry about. Then you have to have some AOE, and then you need to worry about like the slimes. It could be one of the hardest for sure. But for the defects, I think slime is the easiest boss because you have two turns to set up, and then you just destroy him. I mean, with dark or anything. I mean, for me, slime is the easiest on the defect, and buffer is, um, counters him. I like buffer because it's a power, and you know it helps me set up some stuff that I may want to be doing. I think Core Surge is interesting. It gives me Artifact, which right now can stop the Hyper Beam negative focus, right? I think that's kind of interesting. I have yet to use Core Surge, and it could be good with Hyper Beam. Let's just try it out. I have yet to use it. Energy Relic is probably the best play. Ash Lab is actually not bad. So if you think about it, we have Unceasing Top. So we're going to probably go with a cheap deck. So the energy is not as important. And if I get rid of these strikes and then maybe get some zero cost cards, I can start popping off. I'm going to do it. I think that shows you it was probably better. But we got boot sequence. We got seek plus and reboot. Those are some very nice cheap cards. And another seek means I'm, I'm trying to go infinite here. I don't think I will be able to, but we're going to try. So I've got an elite. Three rest, early shop. Anything else? Four rest. Four rest, two elites. So we can trade one of the rest to get a shop. Seems alright for me. Yeah, seems alright. Core Surge. Alright. Hyper Beam coming. Let's go. Sec. It's not... It's not that great yet. We need turbo. Turbo would help, but the but the voids make make unceasing top a little bit worse. Yeah. 
Not bad. Not bad. Aggregate. It's probably going to be energy gain, right? It's interesting. I mean, it won't always be energy gain, but if it gets an energy gain with unceasing tap, it could be interesting. I think Turbo, we talked about it. It helps getting the unceasing tap going. But the problem with Turbo is that it gives me a void eventually. So that's a little awkward. But maybe we don't want to go infinite. Maybe we just want to get Turbo for the little bit of boost with the unceasing tap and play extra cards. I don't always get two hairs, man, but... What do you guys think about Turbo? Over Aggregate. Aggregate is better in the beginning. I think so, right? Because I think it's interesting. You know what? Ash okay, I gotta offer the Astrolab because it's doing nothing for me. That's fine. You can take it. Hold on to it, dude. Enjoy it. Gold plated, FTL beam cell. These are all zero cost cards. Oh, secret technique. Oh, these are so good, guys. Secret technique, when you upgrade it, you can, it's just zero cost. You can choose skills. You can keep things going. You can even get secret technique to pull the aggregate on the first turn and have a, a, a crazy first turn. Double energy gives me energy to keep going. It exhausts, doesn't get in the clog the cycle. The gold plated is really nice for the darkness, but probably too expensive. I think FTL is probably decent. Beam cell is probably decent. They're all very decent. I like Secret Technique for the Aggregate, though. Yeah, this upgrades to zero, right? Yes, but it upgrades to zero, it costs an upgrade. This upgrades, this, this is already doing some stuff, I think. But it's expensive, so if we do double energy, we can get removal as well. We can remove the strike, or we can do the Beam Saw and the FTL, and just get all these zero cost cards. You think a double energy is sick with top? I don't have that much energy to double, though. <laughs> I'll take it, fine. Let's get all the zero-cost cards. You know what? This is a YOLO run. Aggregate, coming in clutch. Let's get the Dark Orb going. Well, actually, we want to defend, don't we? One energy. Worth it. I can't even draw because the center's made. I know, it sucks. I can't remove the starting curse. Sucks. Oh, rebound was perfect with recursion. If I get plasma, recursion's insane. Because I can do recursion. Ooh, that's really nice. My, my recursion is probably really going to be really useful. I'm actually pretty excited to get Plasma here. I was say my favorite legend, Incarnate Wizard Legend. I really like the, um... One sec. Nice. It's happening. Uh, we need more energy, right? Uh, what I like... Okay, I've been really enjoying Shock Nova as Arcana. I like the Ice Dagger as well. Relics, I really like Volatile Gemstone. This deck needs to work, but guys, well, once we get this deck rolling, I feel it's going to be very, very satisfying. I, I, I feel it's going to be very satisfying. Another recursion. I mean, why don't we just go so much recursion? It's just non-stop recursion. Yes, I got to upgrade all of them, but if we get the potentials there. Just got to upgrade them, that's all. Just got to upgrade, no big deal. Have, yeah, Bolt Rail. I like Bolt Rail too. Bolt Rail is really strong. I, I'm kind of trying new stuff because I already won with Bolt Rail. I want to try something different, right? So Aggregate and... I kind of like Core Shorts Hyper Beam, but Aggregate is not doing that much because we have the Curse right now. So it's the wrong time to do that. I think what we want to do is maybe Hologram the All for One and get another Zero Cost card like Recursion. But the thing is, the guy's attacking for a lot. Recursion's not doing that much. I think we should just defend, to be honest. We need like something like blind, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do recursion. Eh. 
Let's do Seek again. Alright, let's do Zap. Recursion. Let's do... S Why are you lower in life? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's do Chill, then Leap, I suppose. Alright. Pot, this would have been great. Yeah, you're right. We're gonna make this work, though. Hyper Beam. So we got Core Charge with the Hyper Beam. That's the play. No negative focus, baby. Let's hope that we draw something decent. Like Recursion. Alright, once these Recursions are upgraded and the Double Energy upgraded, this, this deck's gonna get go places. FTL should have been... We need Fusion, too. Fusion's just awkward because Fusion... You have to keep playing it. Go for the eyes. I think we just go for all these cards. I mean, it gets time to regain our ass kicks for sure. But you know what? That's a problem for future Jeremy. Not a problem for me. Let us... Upgrade the recursions. I feel like that's kind of a bad upgrade, to be honest. But, eh. Whatever. Let's stop this man. Man, I have all this energy in a big fat curse, man. I've been getting double energy in this curse almost consistently. Feels like crap. Alright, we could kill this guy with um, Hyper Beam. We could also win with All for One. This deck is interesting. And when I say interesting, I think this deck's bad. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just give me plasma. That's all I need. Okay. I just seek nothing. Um, that was professional play. Top level. You get it at 10, Sin of All Sins. The Sin of All Sins. All the sins you could think of. This is the Sin of All Sins. This is slow. Hey, thanks for the follow, Nick Zoop. Oh, I had on season tap with the zap. Why does that happen to me? Ooh, okay, 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 okay. It came to life. Came to life. Focus pot over strength pot, maybe. Boot sequence. There's glacier. Glacier's probably the better play, right? But we're trying to go very specific to unceasing tap. So I'm doing boot sequence. I'm playing this so out of left field we do recursion again we just don't have the energy though we don't have energy what's the point of this i should probably dig and try to find an energy relic right or at least lift and get strength we gotta keep going recursion i'm sticking to my guns here ancient t says an energy relic sort of remove a card is there a shop after this guy? There is a shop. I'm going to save my money. Now, I might get my ass kicked. We'll see. Okay. This is the big turn right here. Sort of. I might do speed pot. I don't think we need it. That feels awful. That feels okay. That feels okay, I guess. That feels okay. Eh, a little bit. I mean, that's a lot of excess block. If I had calipers, then yes. What is the city of all sorts? That's a good question. Oh, we need to get... We have course charge. We're fine. 
We need to get dark going, right? I think we should get dark going, but let's keep doing recursions. Why not? We can do hyper beam actually. That you know what? That stops. That stops that little thing from happening. And we actually win. I didn't think about the fact that we had rebound hyper beam, but we have lethal anyways. We did it. That was pretty easy. We got Shuriken. What? This deck is changing for the better. We got Shuriken with Unceasing Top all for one. I'm going to go all zero cost. Maybe we got the scaling we need. Time Eater, please don't fuck me. You got to go to soccer. Hey, man. Take care, Bird King boy. Have fun in soccer practice. You got to go coach. Hey, have fun coaching. Buffer buys time. Yes, yes, yes. Who had a loop? Buffer does buy time. Who is the boss? Tony Danza. Eh, it's expensive. It's expensive and I don't have that much energy. But it, it could help. Loop is doing... For Plasma would be great, right? I think we do Buffer maybe. 100% going to be Time Eater? Probably, huh? Alright, so what we want to do here is try to proc this little guy, right? But we also want to get the core search. Because we don't want to get the, the, the thing. As soon as the days would destroy us. We could do hyper beam twice. I mean, maybe that's just as effective. We could do hyper beam twice. Like we could do beam so hyper beam. Like maybe I'm missing out on the fact that we have damage with beam so hyper beam. Maybe I'm missing out on that obvious fact. We have beam so hyper beam. I could do a lot of damage with rebound beam so hyper beam. I can do beam so rebound hyper beam hyper beam twice. Maybe I'm missing out on that fact. I wonder what all for one's gonna do for me here, because we do have Holligan for all for one again if we can get energy back, which I don't know if we can, but we have boot sequences. So we're not taking damage. I can draw into recursions. I need turbo. I think I should take a turbo actually. Let's do this. Let's get the out of this cycle. To reboot. Core Charge has been pretty clutch for us. Shuriken's really nice. Okay. This deck is doing stuff a little bit. I, I'm, I'm a fan of it. Steam Barrier is not bad. It's zero cost, right? It, it gets worse and worse, but you know what? It helps us defend. I'm going to go for the shop. Maybe the shop is going to give us something really nice. Hyper Beam is great and all, but I don't like the fact that. I, I want to get core storage first. I don't really want to get rid of my focus, right? So I'm going to defend and play buffer. Sorry, Hyperbeam. I need energy relics. Yep, yep, yep. This is what I, this is what I want to see. When I made this deck, this is exactly what I wanted to see. This is, the, this is what I want to see. Three recursions back to back. You guys might think that's not good. No, this is peak performance. This is the deck operating at peak performance right now. Okay, it would have been peak performance if that didn't happen. Hmm, sure. Okay. Way to ruin it. Hyper Beam is fine now, right? Now let's do this. Hmm, that's awkward. Two 
truly a Sanders Bane. Okay. Double energy needs to be upgraded, but it's probably not as important as the other things. Let's see what we get. We might draw into something decent. Yes. 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 Oh. Huh. Huh? Huh. That was a mistake. Aggregate was just, uh... No one saw that. I need my deck to be bigger so Aggregate is actually doing some good stuff. But, we got a region pot that's great. We got Recursion again. We gotta commit. If we get Time Eater, it is what it is. We got Claw. Gotta take the claw. Mango would be nice, right? We gotta take the claw. I think we remove things that are not zero cost. I think a hey, good tech, a good instinct is not bad for a consistent block. I think we remove things that are just not like we remove the strikes. Although strikes help us with the shuriken, right? So maybe we remove like doom and gloom is a little awkward now. It's a little awkward. Doom and gloom is. Smoke bomb. Eh, no, no, I'm fine. Hologram. Hologram has exhausted itself, right? I can use Hologram to get things rolling. I can get all from one again. Like, I think Hologram is pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Barrage is going to be strong with Shuriken. Barrage is going to be a good way to dump the energy, actually. I mean, dump the, dump the strength. But now, nah, we want to keep this going the way it is. So let's... Is removing... Do we at least gives me dark, right? So that's fine. I can replace a, a strike with a claw, exactly. And I think if I remove the strike, that's a good thing. Replace a strike with a claw. But Doom and Gloom, I think the dark might be useful. But maybe our deck is scaling with shur Shuriken that we don't need Doom and Gloom in our deck. But the AoE is kind of nice for this fight. I think Buffer's a good upgrade for this fight as well. But I also want to upgrade Recursion. So it's tough to say. We need some focus, because focus will make a Recursion much stronger. I guess we can move the strike. Even though that is dumping stuff with Shuriken. Um, is that better than Smoke Bomb or Good Instincts? Good, good Instincts is... Time Eater's gonna fuck us anyways, right? So we're not worried about Time Eater. This Good Instincts is just consistent block, and it draws. Just four block. Just four block for free. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go remove a strike. Hologram. Hologram exhaust. Okay. Now, I probably should rest, but... I have region plot. I think I'm gonna upgrade the recursion. And we're gonna We're gonna take a risk. Four recursions. Ideal, ideal gameplay. Okay, this wasn't so ideal. But all for one is gonna pull this stuff. Worry not. We have a lot of energy though. So you know what? Since we have all this energy, I wanna utilize it. Let's utilize it on buffer at least. Can we go infinite is the question. No, we definitely can't. If I do aggregate now, I have a lot of energy, but then I'm getting rid of... So here's what I want to do. I want to aggregate. Hologram the aggregate, but I also want to bring back... Here's what I want to do. Aggregate now. I want to seek hologram and reboot. I want to get aggregate again. I want to reboot just because I don't want to play these boot sequences. And now we got some stuff going on, right? So now we got... Uh, Beam Cell, FTL, Zap. Just play this anyways. Get the few recursions going in. Let's see how far we can take this. Now, I'm probably going to get a Sender's Bane right to the face. 100%, 100% Sender's Bane is going to come right now. 100% is going to come right... Oh, we're doing good. I want to keep going, but I don't want to lose those. So maybe we just say, you know what? Good enough. Four energy wasted. Insert Battery would be clutch. Ice Cream would be amazing. Okay. Let's weaken this guy in the back. Not too bad. So, we lose we lose the buffer now. Hyper Beam is fine because we do have the artifact, right? So we can do Hyper Beam and feel okay about it. In fact, we can do Rebound Hyper Beam and draw right back into it, but we won't have the energy. We can Rebound Recursion and Recursion Show Hyper Beam. Wait a second. 
Rebound, recursion, chill. Gets rid of the dark, unfortunately, right? But if I do chill on two, then I can do recursion on dark again and kill the guy. This is a high level play right here. Check this out. I do hyper beam first, then I do chill. Now recursion is killing that dude. And now we're probably taking a lot of damage to the face. But you know what? I think now that the ads are gone, we should be alright. It's Half-Life. That is... That is a all-for-one at the top of my deck. This is going to be something else. Do I want to keep going for Claw? Maybe... Maybe not. I think we keep this. Hmm. Dual cast now? Yes, I think so. I think so. Almost lethal. If I die here, I am going to... He tilted. I should have lethal. Not bad. Can we get Bless RNG so we do not get Time Meter? Can I please not get Time Meter? I got another awful one. I'm going to take another Seek. Just Seek just to do things, always. Do not be Time Meter. Bless RNG. Give me Energy Relic. You know what? Pandora's Box is the play. We don't need defense. We want to get zero cost cards. Philosopher's Stone is not bad, though, because that's energy to help me get do more things. If it is Time Eater, we probably want Lizard Tail because we don't want to get our ass kicked. And Lizard Tail will save us. Pandora's Box is not bad. It's only getting rid of four cards, but it can give us, you know, I think. Lost Resort to play. Now, this is probably, probably going to kill me. We're going to find a way to make this work. We're not giving up. The game's trying to get. The game's trying to bring us down. It's exactly what they want us to They want to see me down, but it's not going to work. We got this. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's a, there's a way. <clears throat> we'll be fine. Hey, we just proc my return. Exactly. Exactly. Aggregate is insane. Unfortunately, we got the, the curse again. Damn it. Damn it. I might have to reboot. I think I'm going to do aggregate, right? We're gonna do. We want to get core surge and. Uh, here's what we're gonna do: core surge, hyper beam, and then we're gonna seek some defense. Although I should probably seek rebounds, right? Okay, we'll do seek some defense, core surge, hyper beam. I should probably rebound the hyper beam, right? Oh, it's lethal. GG. That's nice. Stack. Maybe we take stack because we we need some defense against the time meter, right? We're gonna need defense against time meter right now. We have no ways of defending that great. It's not zero cost. I think we take a stack anyways. It's gonna ruin our strategy just a little bit. I think madness is fantastic. That's gonna help us do some more stuff. It's awkward against time meter, but it helps us go infinite. It can't even go infinite. If it was for all for one and hologram, we can go infinite. But it's still nice to have, I would say. It's still nice to have. We'll see. Now I wish I had a barrage, right? Or, like, or something to do, like a way to, um... A way to dump the energy, I mean, the, the strength that I'm going to be getting. Ooh, that's awkward. Mm, I could have played that much better. My bad. My bad. I think we have lethal. I've, I've been like, I've been neg neglecting lethal. Like, beam cell seek. Like, beam cell hyper beam is actually really strong. Another weaken. That's gonna help against the time eater. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm still gonna go with my plan. This might be a really bad fight. We need hyper beam asap. We need Hyper Beam ASAP here. I 
Oh, that's not bad. Let's do more energy. Now, I'm gonna feel really, really salty if I get a Sender's Bane. Please don't give me a Sender's Bane. Please don't give me... Wait a second. Rebound Hyper Beam. I think some stuff is happening. Woo! Region Pot. You know what? I'll take it. Card draw. Mm, Steam Bear. I'm going to skip. Man, this is actually kind of awkward when you... Uh, I guess I can remove the... What do I want to remove? What's awkward for me? Madness is kind of awkward, actually. I mean, the exhaust himself is not too bad. I have nothing to really remove, actually. I don't know, quadruple top, exactly. Uh, nothing really to remove. Is there another shop? I don't really like this. There's another shop, but it's... After an elite. Streamline, I guess. No, it's not really the play. It's not really the plays at all. What can we remove? Let me see. Two seems like a waste of madness, maybe, right? Moving one of the madnesses. Maybe I can move a madness. It's kind of awkward. Yeah, we're moving madness. Mm, let me see. Doom and Gloom, you know, Doom and Gloom's a little awkward because. Okay, Doom and Gloom. It gives me dark, and I can always nurse the dark with recursion, right? And that could be a way to kill time meter. But we're also doing some shuriken stuff, like... Okay, I'll... okay we'll remove... We'll remove the, the madness. It's fine. That's fine. Okay. Let's rest, I believe. Well, can we... So... Do we need a rest? We have a region pot, we have dexterity. I think we can probably benefit from, from doing buffer, right? Yeah, let's, let's upgrade the buffer. Okay. You know, it's a little awkward to get this Ascender's Bane. It ruins my buffer. In fact, I should have done one of these potions. In hindsight, I should have. I really should have. No, the burns are really bad. Wait. The burns are extremely bad in this fight. Oh, I'm probably dead. Did I meant to do seek. Oh, I meant to do seek. I meant to do seek. Oh, no, no, I meant to do seek. No, I meant to do seek to get... Oh, no, I meant to do seek to get hologram. No, hologram couldn't do aggregate. I meant to do seek for what? Oh, I, that was totally wrong. I wanted to do seek for, like, steamberry claw. I had so much more I could have done. So much more I could have done. Oh, I fucked up. Okay, we're still fine. We're still fine. The burns, though, wasting time like that is not fine. Kind of like the chill. Claw. Seek. Alright, we handle it. I want to get that last take of the potion. If I can, like, make it so that he dies. So I want to make it so that he dies with the zap, right? Oh. Never mind. 
or recalcum recursion again i mean obviously recursion <sighs> against time meter i don't want another recursion but if i get focus recursion is pretty good but it's yeah it's just i think it's not nah, too many recursions right it's too many against time meter is it though nope it's not it's not too many we should start digging for energy relics, right? I should probably start digging. At this point. I'm a dig. Or maybe I should lift. I'm a dig. That was really good dig. That's extremely good dig with blue candle means the sender's bane doesn't stop me. That's a good, 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 good pickup. Blue Candle is a good pickup. Now I can do Aggregate, Hologram, Aggregate. Now if I get something like Tempest against the Time Meter or Multicast, we can do some stuff. We can do some stuff. Now I'll tell you this, guys. I think by doing the dig, I got the Blue Candle RNG on the next level, right? If I didn't do the dig, I probably wouldn't have gotten the Blue Candle right then and there. Free recursion. So why do I need to upgrade this when I have madness for it? Now, it's not lethal, but I mean it's not infinite. I guess time is gonna. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. We'll see. I'm not even gonna think about it. Just gonna play. Goodbye, buffer. I mean I have a lot of way to get energy. I just need. <laughs> okay smoke bomb okay uh we don't want another recursion right fra whenever i get partnered we're now we're still in the process of getting partners so i can't give you exact date uh another recursion i need a way to dump this energy against the timer because I need ice cream, potentially, or maybe reinforced body to get some good block. I'm assuming maybe Tempest. I'm gonna skip this. Wait, I could have done. Nah, never mind. Aggregate. Uh. Yeah, I want to dig. I want to dig. I want to dig. For sure. Yikes. Oh, the days, right? Okay. Conserve energy would be great. Yeah, I need conserve energy. Dexterity pot is probably pretty useful against the time meter, more so than speed pot, right? Tempest is a way to dump energy, right? I don't know if that's going to do good damage or even be that great, but at least it dumps energy. I might just take it. But actually, that ruins kind of my, my flow a little bit. I'm going to dig again. Smooth stone. Okay, having dexterity is going to help me. We get it. We get barrage. I think barrage is good to dump the strength. Okay, we're gonna, I guess we're going to have to rest now. Uh, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance. I should probably have rested, though. I should probably have rested.
I mean, we have really pretend we have like, we have a lot of potential to do damage to the time meter. I need to really think about this because I think we have another weaken. I'll take it. We have really good recursion plus probably. But do we actually want to rest? I think if we dig, like okay, we have like, sturdy pots and stuff. I think if we dig, we have probably better chance of getting. I mean, it could be something bad though. I gotta rest. Anyways, um. So we start off with, with Ancient T-Set, we start off with a nice turn, right? We're looking at 10 times 3. We got Aggregate first turn. And if we do Hologram, Aggregate, we got a lot of energy, right? So now if I do Seek for Tempest and double energy, we're doing a massive Tempest. Now, is that lethal? I don't know. I don't know. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do Seek, Hologram, right? We're going to Hologram the Aggregate again. We're going to Seek the Weaken. And the Tempest. Right? I'm gonna weaken. I'm gonna block. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna Tempest. I forgot to do my potions. Don't know how good that really is. I probably could have done something better, right? I probably could have done like the core surge into the hyper beam shenanigans. I think, you know what it does? It brings him low enough, right? It's out of the cycle now. It brings him low enough. I actually want to proc him if I can. I don't think there's a chance I won't proc him. It brings him low enough that he's going to heal sooner. And then once he heals, I can just go all out. I don't have buffer for this. That's unfortunate. There's no buffer. <laughs> hmm. That's unfortunate. Okay. There's a buffer. Let's seek. All for one, right? Well, we could do all for one beam cell. We could do all for one is not bad, but a lot of plays here. Kind of a waste. I want him to heal, and right? once he heals, I want to go. Like I want him. To, he's gonna heal now, so I have a, a free turn to do something. Okay, let's get that out of the cycle. Uh, I'm gonna proc him just so I don't like. All right, now everything I do sticks. I'm a little bit worried because I got rid of buffer. A little bit worried. We got stacked though. I should probably just end it right there, right? Yeah. Just end it right there. Ah. Uh. Oh, I had pen nib. I just fucked up. I play too fast. One more card, please. Okay. We're not dead. That was all for one. Potential for all for one is gone, but we gotta push for lethal at some point. I I I can't mess up pen nib again because that's really important. Okay. All right, I need to be doing... I need to be blocking right now. I need to be blocking right now, or else I'm dead. I need block, or else I'm dead. I'm dead. No! No, 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 no. Okay, I, I did this all wrong. Yeah, I should have double energy tempest. I know, I know. Okay, let's, let's do this again. Let's do this again. I fucked up. I meant to do double energy. I forgot that I didn't do double energy. I did aggregate again. I meant to do double energy. I lost. I suck. I'm doing it again just because I fucked up at the beginning. I fucked up. Close your eyes. I lost. I suck. I messed up. I 
intended to do double energy, and I somehow, I guess the seek wasn't upgraded. Let me see what happened here. Oh, okay, okay. This is, this is what I want to do. I want to do double energy. Where is it at? Double energy hologram. So I want to bring back aggregate. And then I want to do double energy. Then I want to seek the tempest. That's what I intended to do. I intended to do that, but I somehow, I think I picked the wrong seek. I picked the wrong seek and I picked hologram, and then I was confused that um, the seek stopped. I intended to use everything right there. That's, that's what I intended to do. And I remember when I used the seek, I was like, oh, oh, that sucks. What do you want for lunch? We have to. Oh, never mind. Oh, they misplay. There's gone buffer. That's bad. buffer oh no oh no oh no died again dude Playing this wrong. I'm playing this wrong. I was taking the weekend. Oh, that's what it was. I'm playing this wrong. I feel like hyper beam. Why did I reboot? Reboot was bad because I watched I get buffer, but I was gonna draw to buffer anyways, or at least get all for one, right? I'm make by doing reboot, I get rid of all for one. What am I doing wrong? I would have... Takes a long time. Hey, what's up, Cheese Nibbles? How you doing? Yeah, you're right. I drew it with top. That was bad. I remember that happened. I drew it with top. You're right about that. Yeah, but I wanted to get it out of the cycle, Slim Shady. I'm doing it just to get it out of the cycle.
I think I draw buffer here though, that's the problem, cuz Look, I think this is where I draw buffer. Oh no, buffer's here. No buffer. Let me see. This is the buffer. Damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing bad, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna eat some uh, a quick snack after this. And get my brain f my brain flowing. I'm gonna I'm gonna wake him up here, or rather, I'm gonna proc him. My bad. I'm gonna eat some of this food. I should probably not eat right now. One second. I should just let him attack and do nothing, right? But I, I want to get core surge out. I want to push for pendant, right? So. I also like the Dark Orb. See, Hyper Beam is awkward. But it is 68 damage. It's kind of hard to compete with that. Now... Now that's bad. That's really bad. I'm dead. Pretty sure I'm dead. Okay, we all hit the time meter. I destroyed this fight. I had potential. I said I needed to think it through. I didn't. It was a crazy deck. It could have been, it could have been a really nuts deck. Right? Time meter obviously sucks. And okay, it's potential to beat the time meter with with this deck if you play like a non bonobo, which I'm not always doing. At least not today. Crazy deck. Big fan. Time meter obviously sucks, but it's still possible to beat time meter if uh, you don't make any mistakes. <laughs> and here we go.